You got ID? Man, you're awesome. Here's my question. How did you play that game against San Andreas? Broken leg. Oh, I can't believe I'm talking to you. Wow, I don't know what to say. This is the greatest day of my life. When in doubt, go for the gun. Hope they have to get That's a problem with the public. Hey, you get that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I get that all the time. People say, oh, are you that girl on the television in that show? And I say, no, I'm the girl from the radio. I shouldn't look like her. Anyway, you know, that's all we have for now. Thanks, Amy. Oh, and, man, um, Bobby's gonna kill me. Okay, thank you. Hey, man. Hey, easy, papi. Business for me. You. You the boy? Oh, yeah. You the boy. I think so, you know. No, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, papi. Look at him. All dressed up like that. What is this? Ladies night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah. Like a woman. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little very chiquita ones. Hey, I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. Facing home truths. You see, we all have to face up to a few home truths. I'll never be prom queen. Jenny will never have her parents. You'll never make it in the entertainment business. Amigo, you're a man, man! You change your life. Uh, just a second. What isn't covered in your three-step program? What don't you talk about in your library of conversation? Depression, changing life. Who are you? What have you done that's so great? You wear a cheap suit. Your hair is stuck rigid with spray. Your breath thinks of whiskey. You, you look like you sell drugs to people. You're a joke, buddy. A bad joke. Oh, now this is getting personal. I come on your cheap ass show. I spare my valuable time. I cancel several important speaking engagements. I talk to thousands of VIPs. You call yourself a man, man? This is how I get treated. I get insulted by a man with dandruff. I get slandered by a guy who couldn't amuse a birthday party of nine-year-olds. I get attacked by a guy who works on a volunteer radio. This is not volunteer radio. I... How much do you earn, John, that big man? Some guy with a microphone and a cheap jacket and a look that says my highest hope in life is to work in a bookstore? I'm a go-getter. You're a cheapskate. You're a fraud with nothing to tell people and no way of helping people. Excellent. I'm really loving this. I hope one of them gets killed. Shut up, dog. All the bunnies are stabbing each other. Shut up. I have a time, though. I have a
have a hot tub, I have vacation in Aruba. Vacation is not a verb, moron. Yes, it is, because I'm a VIP. I'm very important. And I'm a teacher, a wise man, not an opinionated adult, a naysayer sitting on the side of life. You're a little dirty kitten, baby boy. Go cry to your mommy. A man who lives with his mother. I'm between apartments. And I'm between mansions, Buster, from helping people. You know how good it feels to be me? You have any idea, any idea at all, how great it feels to wake up and realize you're a rich and talented, important person, and in a waterbed with mirrors on the ceiling and more girls than you can imagine. And every time I step outside the door, I can choose which car to drive. If I choose to drive, I have five chauffeurs. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Sweep it under the carpet. That's my motto. <laughs> if I can't see it, it's not there. <laughs> Look, I hate to burst your bubble here. But I know you live in a very small apartment overlooking the gas box. You ain't a man. Not bad. You're a real man. You're an asshole. A creepy jailbird who doesn't know I, the I have a message. I can save lives. I'm a savior, my friend. I have a gift of communication. And this is how I get treated. I get insulted. I get paired with a pair of retards. A guy who's afraid of the sun. And a girl dosed up to the eyeballs on antidepressants. Sweetheart, I can get you something much better. These pills are very strong today. Maybe I took too much accidentally. Oh well. <laughs> this chick is out of her mind. I thought I was going to get to help people on the radio. To demonstrate my program. To help you, Chavez. Those people on the phone said you were a desperate lonely man on the edge. Leave. Leave right now. Get out of my studio. Go get your own radio show. Or save some other people. Hey, I'm not leaving till I have the opportunity to save people and sell some tape. You can call right now and send in the money order. Soon you can have a luxury condo in a waterbed and a suit made in Singapore based on the latest Italian style. Man, you the man, man! I like you, man! I like you a lot! Not Chavez. Anytime, man, cause you got cojones and all my friends, they got big cojones! Mental inferior ones for my brother. Shut up! No, you little snotty nose prick. What? Your shoes got lift bust, I can tell. Hey, lift! This hairspray! Oh, my God! Daddy, stop, please! This costs a lot of money! I'll sue you in the jail, asshole! Stop fighting, please! I hate it when we fight! Can't we have a group hug? Hit me, man! I like it. You got big cojones, amigo! Tommy, enough dead man been chatting about you, my well, dear. Excuse me. Thought you might need something to make you feel better. So Auntie Pule make you some stew, eh? Come and check me kitchen sometime, okay, Tommy? Lower, harder, lower. Alright, miss. I'm gonna save your beer, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker there is the Bugelmeister? He's got your boy lugs. Word is you might try to jump. You didn't jump high enough if you know what I mean. Where did he take them? Ah! Oh, I oh, oh, plain mate. English! Keep your party on! They caught him across town in the junkyard! Bloody hell, you nutter! You yesterday's news, buddy. See ya, stupid it. Nobody screws with Diaz's man. I need the money. My careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure. I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here.
getting started, gentlemen. Let me remind you of the rules of engagement. Here on pressing issues, the number one rated show on public radio in the Vice City area and hosted by me, Maurice Chavez, pressing issues is about free speech, not feeding each other hemp, literally or metaphorically. Hey, my daddy used to grow that stuff in the backwoods of Missouri. Hey, I tell you what. Yes, thank you. I expect you to listen to each other, and I will... It's patched up, and meet me on the bridge to Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. <laughs> so, I want a clean fight. Nothing below the belt or in the... Use the smell test. That's so important, I think, don't you? It's so... Consider getting... Thing is so small. 